The cytotoxicity is a biocompatibility test that we run on cells. Uh, we take it to the device and we test them against these cells to see how it might interact with the cells as far as toxicity. So we want to make sure the device isn't toxic. So we take this medical device, we extract it or otherwise put it in contact with cells, and then we examine those cells to see what kind of impact that device might have on those cells at a cellular level. The device comes in and then we do we have to determine the surface area or the weight of the device. This will help us determine the volume or the amount of fluid that we need to extract the sample in. That just means we take the sample, we put it into this fluid, and we put it at an elevated temperature to draw out any toxins or leachables in the device into that fluid. And then we take that fluid and we place it onto the cells themselves. And then we let the cells interact with that fluid or any toxins that might have been drawn off by that fluid. And then we just look at the cells and see the impact of those toxins, if there is any, on those cells themselves. And look at the health of the cells to determine how toxic the sample is, or potentially toxic the sample could be in the patient. So what we look for is we look at the cell health based on the percentage of toxic cells compared to healthy cells. So we'll look at the cells after they've been exposed to the, to the media of the device. And then we look at the cells that are impacted compared to the ones that aren't. And that's based on the percentage. So the, more, the higher percentage of cells that are toxic compared to the ones that aren't will raise the score based on a zero to four scale. So zero, one, or two is considered passing. Three or four is considered failing. And those are based on percentages of healthy cells to sick cells. And the cytotoxicity is a very sensitive test, so there is a, a good chance for a device to fail that test. And then we have to do an investigation to determine the source of that failure. First off, we have to determine if the correct sample was tested, uh, if that sample was made correctly. Uh, then we have to investigate to see where this toxicity is coming from, what portion of the sample or if it was a true failure, we will do repeat tests to see, to confirm that failure. And then we'll try to either eliminate the toxicity, uh, try to replace the bad material with a good material, or uh, change a process to help the device become less toxic, or we accept the toxicity based on the device and its intended use. The sensitivity of the cytotox test actually can play a big role to help you determine throughout your process if your materials or processing could have an impact on your final device. Because the cytotoxicity is historically the most sensitive biocompatibility test, it's also the cheapest and the quickest. So we can use that sensitivity to help have confidence in your final device when you move on to the more expensive biocompatibility test. This test is very important for manufacturers to know about because it is the sensitivity involved, the, how inexpensive and quick it is, it will give you a, that tool in your arsenal but also help you determine the impact your device will be having on the end user. Ultimately, we want to, both the manufacturer and the lab, want to help you produce a device that's both efficient, productive, if, uh, you know, cost effective, but also safe. This test is useful to determine different points in your processing and materials because of the sensitivity, but ultimately for an FDA submission or some kind of regulatory submission, you need to have this test run on a completed device. Nelson Labs has put a high priority on this test because it's such a great screening test and it really is beneficial for the medical device manufacturers. We, have, we start these tests every day of the week. This will help decrease turnaround time to the ultimate smallest amounts we can have. It also increases the volume of tests we see. So we are able to have a lot of experience in determining what might be the impact of the toxicity in your device and be able to see many different devices come through to be able to understand the challenges that each device may give to the test system itself.